prairie voles. Cute, furry, and faithful. Once they mate, it's usually for life. But scientists have found a way to turn the monogamous rodents into animals willing to play the field. Dr. Larry Young and his team are researching chemicals and receptors in the brain to change the mating habits of voles. Here we study the neurobiology of pair bonding. And I think that we're at the forefront uh, of this because we actually have some very important insights in the chemicals that are acting in the brain and how they are acting in the brain to activate neural circuits that create uh, relationships between individuals, even bonds that can last a lifetime. And by manipulating the levels of the hormone vasopressin, they can make overly amorous voles mate with only one partner. Young's work at the Yerkes National Primate Research Center in Atlanta has attracted international attention. The genes that he's been able to identify in voles that have a huge influence on, on pair bonding behavior, we investigated in humans to see if, if variation in those genes influence people's propensity to, to engage in pair bonded relationships, basically. I'm convinced that the, the uh, deep down emotions that are uh, involved in a romantic relationship in humans uh, involve some of the same chemicals and the same brain structures as we are discovering uh, is involved in pair bonding in these voles. Rodent research helping scientists hone in on the genetics of love and attraction in humans. Ron Harris, Associated Press.